Did BTS already tease their next album and title track names? Hey everyone, I'm back with another BTS theory video. BTS are currently on vacation, but we are already getting information about their next comeback. The majority of ARMY, myself included, have theorized the next album will be Map of the Soul Shadow. For those of you who do not know about this theory or for those who need a refresher, here is a breakdown of it. Let's look at the archetypes in Carl Jung's Map of the Soul. We have one called The Shadow, which is the unknown dark side of the personality. To start, let's go back to Persona, the MV where Namjoon is in front of a chalkboard and you see a bunch of words and phrases written. Well, three words are written numerous times. Persona, Shadow, and Ego. Persona happens to be the first album of this series. It's safe to assume the next albums will be Shadow and the third one being Ego. We actually were given a major hint in the Boy With Love MV. In the Boy With Love MV, we have shots where we can see the names of all their albums in big bright lights. Well, there is one word that does not match any of their past album names. It's cut off, but you can see three letters. S, H, and A. It's safe to assume that word is Shadow, which hints at their upcoming album name. We also have the scene where Namjoon is on stage, and if you look closely, his reflection or shadow is cast on the side of the stage inside what looks like a cage. This is important because Carl Jung describes the shadow as the dark side of the personality that one tends to reject or ignore because it's one of the least desirable parts in the personality. Now let's fast forward to a more recent event, the FACT Music Awards. BTS won four awards, one of them being the Daesung Award, the biggest of the night. The guys accepted their award and gave their acceptance speech. But something that appeared above them on the screens caught many ARMY's eyes. The phrase, youth is not coming back, appeared. Many may not have thought much about it, but this phrase appears in the run Japanese music video. It appears in V's scene and in Jimin's. This is huge because it pretty much confirms we are going in order for the previous eras and intros. For Persona, RM did the intro and it was a connection to their school trilogy. For their next album, which we can predict it will be called Map of the Soul Shadow, Suga will be the next member to have the intro, since after the school trilogy came the youth trilogy, or the HYYH era, where Yoongi had the intro and Run was a title track in that era. Another thing to point out in the Run MV is with Taehyung's scene. We can also see the phrase res non verba, which means deeds, not words, or facts instead of words, or actions be used instead of words. We can connect this as well since it is telling us facts, not words. So they're telling us don't pay attention to the words. Youth is not coming back because clearly we are going back to the HYYH era, and youth is coming back. Actions instead of words. Now recently, we have more hints to go off of. During the Latte Duty Free Family concert, BTS performed Boy With Love. Behind them on the jumbo screens, you can see images of umbrellas floating around. Now let's look at RM's scene in Boy With Love. He also has an umbrella. Now, when BTS performed at Soldier Field in Chicago, it rained. Because of this, J-Hope sang a part of Rihanna's song, Umbrella, and tweeted the following. Thank you for having an amazing time with us, even though it was raining. I'm not afraid of the rain anymore, because ARMY, you are my umbrella. ARMY Saranghejo. Thanks, Chicago. Now, you may be thinking, okay, what does that have to do with anything? Well, the word umbrella comes from the Latin word umbra. Umbra means shadow. This just adds more credibility to the theory of their next album being titled Map of the Soul Shadow. Now, this may be a long shot, but 
the title track could also possibly be titled Umbrella. We also may have the color scheme of BTS's next albums. The artwork designers for Map of the Soul Persona, JN Brand, have images and an explanation of the design for the album on their website. Well, if you look closely, one of the images has four different album covers. One being pink for Persona, and the other being purple, green, and blue. These could be the possible covers for the next albums. Shadow can be purple, Ego can be green, and Self can be blue. Shadow and Ego being different albums and Self maybe being a compilation or a repackage. Now, this is all speculation, of course, but it definitely can be legitimate because it is on the designer's official website. This is crazy, y'all, but it's fun. I like to theorize and I like to share my theories with you. So let me know in the comments below what you think and if you have any other theories that you'd like for us to know. Thanks for watching and listening. And as always, thank you for sharing, liking, and subscribing. Until next time, adios.